Regional anesthetics work by blocking the nerves and numbing a portion of the body, usually through a needle and often through a catheter. In this case, a small tube through which drugs are administered. One of the most common examples of regional anesthesia is the epidural used in labor and delivery. A local anesthetic is given through the tube and into a space in the spinal canal outside the sac that contains the spinal cord and spinal fluid. The medication generally acts relatively slowly compared to intravenous agents, but a single dose may last from 1 to 4 or even 24 hours, depending on the drug chosen. In a well-functioning obstetric epidural, the abdomen is numbed, leaving normal sensation in the legs and the chest. The epidural space runs from the base of the skull to the base of the spine. Epidurals can be used in any age group, children to the elderly, and can be used for many surgeries taking place below the chin. Epidurals are also used postoperatively for pain control, particularly following thoracic, cardiac, abdominal, and orthopedic surgeries. Complications such as paralysis may occur, but are so rare that the statistics cannot even be calculated. The overall risks of regional anesthetics, including epidurals and others to be mentioned, are less than the risks of things we do every day without thinking, such as riding in a car or working in the kitchen. The benefits of a stable patient, possible decreased blood loss during surgery, and post-procedural pain relief clearly outweigh the risks. Other common types of regional anesthetic include axillary blocks or blocks in the armpit for upper extremity surgery, as in carpal tunnel release, blocks of the large nerves of the lower legs, such as the sciatic nerve for knee and leg surgery, blocks in and about the neck, which are sometimes used for carotid artery surgery, and field blocks, where large areas of the skin and subcutaneous tissue are anesthetized by the injection of local anesthetic into certain areas of the skin. For example, hair plugs, scar revisions, and superficial mole removal. Spinal anesthetics may be used for vascular, urologic, or orthopedic surgeries in particular, as well as emergency cesarean sections. Compared to epidurals, spinal anesthetics work faster and last for a shorter period of time. In certain situations, there may be significant surgical advantages to one or a combination of regional anesthetic choices. For each of them, supplemental sedative medication can be given so a patient does not need to fear being wide awake in the operating room. Any nerve can have local anesthetics applied to it, so there's nearly an infinite variety of possible regional blocks that can be performed. In some situations, it's clearly medically indicated to perform a surgery under a regional versus a general anesthetic. This is the situation with elective cesarean sections where the outcome of the mother and the baby is generally better with a regional anesthetic. In other situations, regional anesthesia should be avoided. This is the case with those patients with clotting disorders or infections in the area of the nerves to be blocked. Your anesthesiologist will discuss with you the relative advantages of a variety of regional techniques available to you and compare those with other anesthesia techniques for your surgery. An individualized plan is best, taking into account your current medical status, your surgery, your surgeon, the facility, and the skills of the anesthesiologist. There's rarely a single best answer covering all situations.